Hello everybody, it's James here from Kimberly Computer Services with a video review of the Samsung Chromebook, the uh, latest Samsung. I've had it for about, um, probably about a month now uh, since they were released and uh, I thought it was about time to do a video review now I've used it. So at the moment it's turned off, I'm going to turn it on for you so you can see how quickly it turns on. So there we go, that's the uh, boot going through and now we can log in straight away. So if I Click on my ID, log in, hit enter, that's now logging in and I'll be able to use the computer in a few seconds. So there we go, straight into the desktop, Chrome's loaded up, I, I loaded up with tabs, so straight in there with my email loading up at the moment, so I'll just flick off that tag onto a new tab, as I don't want people reading my emails, but there we go, it's just like Google Chrome. Um, straight in with your your um, icons for the sites you go to the most um, if I scroll the mouse down to the bottom you'll see that the taskbar appears where you can pin it's basically just pinning your favorite websites to the taskbar um, you have this icon at the e icon at the end and if you click on that that shows you all the apps that are installed um, so you got it's just basically all, all links to websites identical to Google Chrome if you use Google Chrome on a, a Windows PC um, so quick access you've got some games on here like uh, Bastion which is a uh, pretty big game um, you have to download it pretty much every single time that you do it it's, it does run offline so um, I've, I've, I haven't actually tried it offline we're currently connected online so I don't know what it's like offline but um, online it's downloading quite quickly actually today but it's um, you'll, you'll be able to see once it loads what the graphics are like on, on the uh, on the Chromebook it's quite um, it's quite reasonable actually um, this is updated because it's because it's all online these are the latest versions all the time you don't have to do any updates yourself it's all all done automatically um, so there we go this is a, a game on on the Chromebook as you can see it's pretty pretty decent uh, all works pretty well you sign in with your Google account so that you can continue where you left off um, and then, and then just uh, play but as you can see it's nice and fast it's probably the best way to test the Chromebook actually just showing you a, a game because it shows you the speed and the power um, I've tried this game I'm no good at it I, I don't really get the game actually what I'm supposed to do on it um, but uh, it loads quick there's not much I can say what more about, I can say about that so once this is loaded I'll go and show you some other other features of Robert the Chromebook store is supposed to start at the beginning ain't so simple with this one so there you go now, here's a kid it's a decent screen um, I'll close that now rock in the sky. it's a decent quality screen it's not the best there are there are screens that are, are clearer but um, for the for the size of the screen it's 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 more than adequate so again just click on a link straight into a website this is all Google Chrome stuff um, as the same as you get on the browser for a Mac or Windows um, you've got the offline capabilities now for Google Drive so if I disconnected this I could do some editing off offline um, which is set up here it shows you the last offline sync was two minutes ago I can view the docs that are offline it seems to only um, save the most recent ones you've used actually going back now it looks like it's had an update come through because this is going all the way back to documents that haven't been seen for a well, 899 days on, on the one at the bottom. So um, I have got more documents than that, so it's not showing all of them. It actually seems to be just the ones... Oh, I thought maybe it was just the ones that have been created in Google, but no, if you can see the file extensions, PDFs and everything there, they're all available for offline. Um, again, with Gmail, you have offline access and Calendar, you have offline access. Um, you've got your Google Talk built in. Well, it's not built in it's using the um, chat for Google extension the one annoying thing about this is if I click on somebody the, the window always pops up up here it, it's, it's been nice if it was just sat down here and slid in and out apparently that's coming out in a in a later version of of the OS um, so I look forward to that because it always pops up and takes focus away from what you're what you're working on or, or doing at the moment um, so um, I'm going to turn this on and off so you can see how quickly it turns off now. So basically, you just hold the power. I'll close Chrome actually. I found out if I hold them, if I press and hold the power button while I've got Windows, while I've got Chrome um, loaded up, 
the tabs will disappear when I restart the system so always close Chrome first the browser hit the power button as you can see it just zooms out that's turned off now if I'd held that just for a short period of time I could have just gone back to the logout screen but I had it all the way so it's completely turned off hit the power button again it will turn back on dead quick so there we go um, the icon on the left is always the person who last used the computer so um, you can always tell who's been on your computer last which is kind of useful if all your settings have been messed up you know who to play but anyway we'll I'll log back in um, the only major difference you've got is if we go to um, settings we've got a few extra settings because to control the computer so we've got the um, wallpaper appearance change our wallpapers you can download themes if you want to um, so I can change my wallpaper to this bird that's done you've got your Wi-Fi connection it will also show your um, Ethernet connection if you're connected that way um, control with the touch speed of the mouse um, pick your search engine and pick your users and pretty much everything else you got your time is all just standard Google Chrome settings um, nothing nothing else different there um, the keyboard is nice there we can see it's um, it's nice to type on it's nice and soft the buttons you can get there quickly as you'll notice there's a few differences compared to your standard conventional PC there's no F buttons at all it's all a web brace so you base so you've got a reload button you've got a full screen mode you've got this which is um, which will flick you if you've got more than one window open at a time you click on that and press on that and it will cycle cycle through the open windows um, you've got a search button on the left hand side to um, as soon as you hit that it will just open a new a new tab I've got it set up for but you could, you could have it so when you hit it it will open a new Google window um, going to google.co.uk or whatever your whatever search engine you want to use um, the trackpad is pretty good it's got multi multi touch scroll on it um, I do find sometimes when I tap it it doesn't always uh, respond straight away and um, you can push it and click in but um, yeah sometimes if I just tap it it doesn't always respond which is the only the only problem I found with it so far battery life is long very long um, six to eight hours I'd say um, if you're watching videos slightly less um, but it's still really impressive even if you're watching videos and you um, on YouTube uh, so it's uh, it lasts a long time the battery does it's very 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 good battery um, that's pretty much it you've got on the side you've got oops on the side you've got your ethernet connector display port um, USB and earphone jack and that's your power jack which has a small light above it which is, when you plug your jack in it will show orange if the battery's not full and it will turn to green once the battery's full um, go to the other side just another USB port along with a, a card slot then you've got this one here which I've got no idea what it is for actually it's um, just try and get the camera to zoom on that for you it's basically an icon of a chain but I'm not too sure what that is if we go to the back of the machine I've got the um, 3G version here so you've got this little slot on the back which inside you can insert your sim card to get on the 3G network so you can put any sim card you like in there you're not tied to a network not in the UK version anyway front of the laptop just advertises chrome and samsung and, and the chrome icon and it's, it's pretty thin pretty thin nice and small i've actually been using this as my main laptop since i've got it and i'm really impressed with it it's doing pretty much everything i wanted to do um, i'm actually looking at the recording at the moment i don't know what those lines were going across the screen because they weren't happening on the actual laptop but the camera has completely lost the focus there we go back on focus so that's really the latest Samsung Chromebook. Very impressed with it. Very happy with the purchase. Um, I've had no issues uh, around. Well, I live in uh, Birmingham in the UK, which is the second biggest city after after London, which is still tiny if you compare it to London. But it's got pretty decent um, mobile coverage, so I've had no problems with um, not being able to access things. So. Um, but now with the new offline functionality anyway it's uh, it's no biggie if you do lose connection because it will sync as soon as it can reconnect to a network it will automatically sync um, it, will auto, it will also automatically refresh any web pages that you've had open 
during that off offline period. So as soon as it finds something, it will just put a refresh through straight away, and so you've got the latest content on there. Um, but there, that's the uh, Samsung Chromebook. Um, got a webcam up there. It's um, it's a decent webcam. Nothing special, uh, but it's just your standard standard webcam. So it's good for Google Hangouts and Google Talk and Google um, uh, video chats via Google Talk. So yes, that is the review, my review of the Chrome OS and on the uh, latest Chromebook. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, sorry if I've been mumbling a bit. It's the first uh, video review I've done, but uh, I might start doing some more after this. So yep, once again, thank you. And uh, if you want to buy one, thumbs up from me. Go for it.